Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ancestral Owl Messages, and this is going to be the full moon read for the collective sign of Virgo on this on All Hallows Eve. I love this night. Okay, let's pray and get into the reads. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels and Spirit Guides, I just pray that you give me wisdom and clarity and make clear any messages that need to come through for this, the full moon read for the collective sign of Virgo on tonight, All Hallows Eve. In Jesus' name, amen. There we go. Okay, I was told not to split the deck. Ah, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Ah, love it. Okay, nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. And your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Gotcha. One more. Surrender to the divine, full moon. That's so funny. <laughs> I'll get to that in a minute. Like why I think it's, it's just, once again, like it's two full moons, void of course moon in the middle, first quarter immutable moon on either side. Okay, we'll see how this read ends up. dreams need a practical plan that's funny the full moon tonight is in Taurus and that's Taurus is earth energy it's very grounding of course your dreams need a practical plan shoot for the stars root yourself in the earth nothing's yet set in stone nothing will come in this situation to nothings so there's questions here so anything can happen but the situation you're worried about and nothing's gonna happen your commitments being tested and surrendered to the divine. So stay on your path. You will be tested. But if you surrender to the divine, Father God, great creator, you surrender. Let him lead and guide you out of the situation. Nothing's going to happen, but there is that nothing is yet set in stone. There's a question that you have. Virgo, is there something you're wondering about? Like you were wondering about the one thing, you were worried about it, but there is something that you're looking for. Mutable moon. Uh huh. Two more shuffles. Ace of Cups. Uh-huh. That's what you were wondering about. Five of Cups. Nostalgia. Ace of Cups. New love coming in. There's a lot of cups here. Seven of Cups. Queen of Wands. Death card. Three of Swords. See, now I'm intrigued here. Usually take... I'll take three off the bottom in a minute. Five of Wands. King of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Three fives. He's done this to me all night long. Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Cups.
Okay, one more off the top. Six of Swords. All right. Ace of Cups. New love coming in. New love offer. Five of Cups, which you're thinking about the past. You do have a lot of choices here. This is all emotions. Then this Queen. Queen of Wands. This could be you or this other person. Fiery Queen. And you have these three. Queen of Wands. Death card. And Three of Swords. Something came to an end here. There was a transformation. Something came to an end. And that was a great deal of heartbreak, disappointment. Okay. So. Five of Wands. King of Swords. Like this deep level of transformation. Death card is that... Rebirth. Five of Wands. That is winning at all costs, using your words to do it. King of Swords. Standing your own masculine power. It's Five of Pentacles. Another five. It's the second five. Is that second five or third five? Second five. No, third five. Get to that in a second. Page one is the message coming in. The five of pentacles. Left out in the cold. Lack mentality that's without. Three fives. Okay. New conversation. This is in the early stages. This is young conversation. That's how are you? I'm good. What is your name? That type of thing. Innocent exchanges. Ten of Cups. This is... It's like it's all over the place. This full moon will make things feel like they're... All from full moons do, especially if you're empathic. This is like new, that's said um, early stages conversation and maybe this was being offered and you walked away. You walked away from that. Why'd you walk away from that? Because there's sixes here too. There's three fives. Let me, these numbers, the number things here. Five, five, five is actually an angelic number and I actually, th this is kind of funny I dreamed about these three cards last night five of wands five of pentacles five of cups, not the five of swords I dreamed about these three this is arguing, using your words to do it, this is believing that you've been left out in the cold and this is thinking back and held in nostalgia but 555 angelic number means that your angels and ancestors are encouraging you to move forward and on you're on the right path and you're being blessed by the divine. Now you're standing in this and you're in power. You had this. See, this is there's counterpart here. Queen of Wands, King of Swords. There's something came to an end here that caused a lot of heartbreak. Could have been with Queen of Wands, a Sagittarian energy. Death, transformation, rebirth, that ending. Beginning of conversation, this being offered. And either you or the other person walking away. And here comes the other six. See, six and six. So if this is mirroring, mirroring again, that's going to be crazy. Okay. 
Six of Cups. This is after nostalgia, giving love out to the people in your life at the present moment and being available at the present moment. Eight of Pentacles. This is feeding or tending to the seeds that you've planted. And you have Two of Cups. New attraction. Newness of new relationship coming in. I know I'm trying to decide which one. Okay. We'll draw a couple angels and ancestor and oracle cards by Kyle Gray for the collective sign of Virgo tonight. Full moon in Taurus. Three off the top, three off the bottom. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Star, ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. Hermit, retreat and recharge. There's That's the one thing that I keep picking up with this full moon read. For each of the signs. As I go through each of the signs, there's like confusion around relationships. Like they offer me this, but it's not enough because this is just the early stages of this conversation and I'm dealing with this in the past and I just, I don't know what to do. And then I have, like I walk away and there's this. So... Full moon, three days before, three days after, the night of, because you're still in the shadow of it. Um, you're going to deal with all those emotions. You're going to deal with all those questions. Just like I always say, I always tell myself, if I don't know the direction I'm at, that I'm going, don't take the next step unless I know for sure that's the step I'm supposed to take. So this looks like it's a counterpart in here. It does. Just take a minute. Surround yourself with that protective energy. Comfort yourself. Know that you're being guided, divinely guided, and surrender to the divine because you're going to, there's upcoming tests coming. Don't you just love tests? Tests are only there to find out what you don't know. Or to find out what you do know. I don't know. I always say it's test. Anyway. Much love to the collective. Sign of Virgo tonight. Full moon in Taurus on this All Hallows Eve. Much love, guys. Be safe. Love and light.